Hiya, beautiful beings. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. The topic for this video is where is your edge? Go there, go where your edge is. Go to the limits of what you already explored in your life. The reason why I'm saying this, the reason why I'm recording this video is because everything that happens in human evolution, you know, the big steps forward, are all related with people taking risks in exploring territories that we didn't check before. And so you don't have to worry about the whole planet or humankind, but just look at your own life. Where are your limits? Where are the places that feel slightly uncomfortable? And then what I invite you to do is to go and check those places. Go to the very limits of where you have never been before. The reason why I'm encouraging you to do that is because this is where your potential expansion is. If you stay within the limits of what you already explored, this is called the comfort zone. And within these limits, you are going to keep on repeating the patterns that are already embedded inside of you. And there is nothing wrong with that, of course. You know, this is a very positive thing to simply sustain what already exists. Within those limits, you can, you know, receive lots of bliss, lots of power, lots of beauty, lots of connection, lots of love. It can happen within those limits. But what if you stretch yourself? What if you open up a little bit further than that? What if you start touching on these territories that are sometimes a little bit scary or challenging? Then magic is going to kick in. Acceleration happens in life because we stretch ourselves beyond these limits. This is how evolution works and this is how evolution works in your life. If everything was static within the comfort of what you already know, not much would change. So if there is something out there that feels a little bit scary or feels challenging or feels like a big stretch, and what I encourage you to do, instead of taking a huge step, you can take small steps. You know, suppose that you have to make a change in your diet or the way you relate to people or where you live or your job, career, your creative power. Something that on an emotional level feels a little bit, you know, challenging to do. What I encourage you to do today is check where is your edge. Write down maybe five things, five core things that you feel would expand you that you could start doing today. This is a very simple thing. It's a very simple mindset. It's a simple practice to embody in your life. And in the process of doing that, you might be surprised by what you will find. The core areas where you can do that are your relationships, sex life, your love life, your social life. Another one has to do with your body, what you do with your body. How do you train? How do you eat? How do you relate to your body? Is there something that you could be doing today that would be a new approach to how you relate to yourself? Another area is to check your mind, your mind patterns, your thoughts, your beliefs your emotions. This is your inner game. And then another area has to do with your creative power, with career, with the way you engage in life, how you make money. And the fifth one has to do with spirit. It has to do with opening to the invisible. It has to do with relating to gods and goddesses, angelic forces, powers, the invisible around you. So take a moment right now to check where is your edge in all those different areas or in one specific area of your life. Where is your edge? Identify where this edge is and see if you can take a little step in that direction or maybe a big step or a few big steps or completely shift the way you relate to these areas altogether. Where is your edge? Check it out. I would love to hear from you. Tell me. 